Colonel Black Project 1. FBI CIA alert. Could Alinin have somehow had an effect on Jupiter's massive surface? First, let's watch this one minute weather.com video report on the matter. In this installment of the weatherspace.com video edition, developments on Jupiter has transformed the appearance of the solar system's largest planet. One of the main two main cloud belts on Jupiter has completely disappeared. Now, we're not talking about fading here, folks. It has completely disappeared. Take a look at these two pictures. They say it's a big event, but they're monitoring the system very closely, and they do not fully yet understand what is going on. Of course not. We don't know what's going on. We haven't lived for millions of years to see all this stuff that goes on with the planet. Something might be going on with the solar system that we don't know about. This picture shows before, August 4th, 2009. You see the belt, and then take a look at after on May 8, 2010. Look at that. The belt has completely disappeared. Now, what would trigger something that disappeared? In my opinion, it will probably be something to do with the weather patterns, probably the upper atmosphere messing around with the planet's uh, clouds. But guess what? Now, that doesn't stop right there. If it affects Jupiter, can it be a global event? They always say the sun controls... Using NASA's own JPL database browser... Let's take a look at the alignment of Jupiter and the comet Elenun between the months of October 2009 and March 2010. This five-month period is right smack in the middle of the time period in which Jupiter's surface was apparently whipped into a frenzy. Could the brown dwarf star Elenun somehow be related to Jupiter's recent loss of one of its two prominent surface belts? Scientists have been stunned and disturbed trying to figure out what mysterious cosmic force might have caused sufficient turbulence on Jupiter's surface to have caused this massive planet to lose one of its prominent stripes of gases and clouds during those nine months. Jupiter is hundreds of times the size and mass of Earth. Even if its loss is just temporary and are a result of extreme surface turbulence, the planet's perturber must be massive. This Jet Propulsion Laboratory database browser will effectively allow us to track the alignment of Ellen and its relationship with Jupiter during this period of cosmic chaos. Notice the vertical yellow line across the center of the browser with our sun seated in the middle seen as a red dot. This vertical yellow line also serves as an alignment reference on this browser. Ellen is the blue dot on the blue elliptical oval. The planet Jupiter is the outermost green dot on the largest white circle furthest from the center sun. Also notice the dates in the bottom right corner. This date changes to coincide with positioning of the planet during the motion of this animated JPL browser. Notice that Jupiter and Elenin were in exact alignment as well as approximate alignment much of the time between October 2009 and March 2010. These are the exact months Jupiter was mysteriously disturbed. You see how Elenin and Jupiter straddle the yellow alignment marker throughout much of this time. Note that on this exact date of February 27, 2010, Earth axis was shifted and Chile experienced the massive 8.8 quake. On this date, February 27, 2010, Earth was precisely aligned with C2010 Elenun, causing Earth's axis to shift. This is certainly no mere coincidence. Well, as you can see, there's much more to Ellen and things being reported to the masses. This is Planet X, the destroyer, 
also known as Nibiru, I believe we might just have found the reason why Jupiter's cloud belt was perturbed during those months. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Eternal Black Project 1. Seek truths.